Hey there, what's up everyone? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the recent news that has come out uh, saying that scientists are coming to the conclusion that Apple AirPods might be causing cancer with long-term use. So in this video, I'm gonna be going into the research and explaining to you guys if Apple AirPods are safe to use and also other devices as well. I got these EMF testers, electronic magnetic field testers, and what they do is they test the levels of radiation on each device. And we're gonna be testing the Apple AirPods and we're gonna be doing a comparison with the Apple AirPods against other listening devices like wired headphones, and also I'm gonna be testing the radiation levels of waves from the laptop, from the iMac, so that we can determine if these devices are really safe to use. All right, let's go. All right, so as you can see, I have a phone call coming in, so we're gonna use the phone call to test Hello? the Hello? radiation levels of the phone call through the ear speaker. As you can see here, what we're gonna be looking at is the top section up here that says E-Field, and it's staying at zero. And here we're testing it, the same phone call with on the speaker though. So it's still staying at zero volts per meter. And now we're gonna go ahead and get the AirPods out so that we can test a phone call and listening to music with the AirPods. So as you can see, here we are testing the both AirPods uh, on a phone call. And as you can see, the volts per meter has gone up to almost 40. All right, and then here we're gonna test the AirPods once again with the volume all the way up, listening to music from a YouTube video. All right, so the music is playing, I can hear it. And let's put it here. So as you can see, it's in the high 30s, even 40s. So about 40 volts per meters here. And now we're gonna test it with the Apple AirPods. So we're gonna play some YouTube here from, some music here from YouTube, put the volume all the way up. And as you can see, the volts per meter does go up a little bit as well, but not, not as much as the AirPods. It goes up to almost 30 here with the AirPods. And it looks like if I move it away a little bit farther from the iMac in the back, it goes down even more. So here it's about 15 volts per meter. So almost three or four times less than that of the AirPods. So here I'm just um, putting my phone right next to the radiation tester um, while playing a video on YouTube. And as you can see, it goes down to eight volts per meter. All right, so let's test a couple other things with the radiation tester. So here I have it right in front of a LED light bulb. And as you can see, the volts per meter goes up way high to almost 200 as I put it right in front of the bulb. And as you can see, as I get it away, it goes back down to about eight. Now it's almost at zero. There we go. Okay, so here I have my modem slash router for the office. And as I put the radiation tester right next to it, it goes up to in the 20s, almost 30 there. Let's go ahead and put it next to my HP laptop here. And as you can see, it goes super high in the high 90s here. If we move it around the laptop, it goes into the 300s. 300, almost 400 volts per meter. Look at that, 500, 600. So looks like the laptop gets very high levels of radiation here. And it's in the 700s as I put it really close to the laptop, six and 700s. So here, as I put it close to the iMac with the screen turned on, it's going into the hundreds here next to the Apple logo. It's in the high 90s, hundreds. Let's see in the screen here. So on the screen, uh, it's staying about 100 volts per meter. Here on the back, it goes down a little bit, 80, 90. With this display turned off, it does go down quite a bit, as you can see. It's now in the 60s. And as we get a little bit away from all the electronic devices, as you can see, the radiation levels uh, of the volts per meter goes down gradually the farther you get away from it. All right, everyone, so to answer the question, are AirPods safe to use? So from research and what I've read online and from the discoveries is that, yes, they are safe to use because their levels of radiation aren't that high, but prolonged use of them 
can lead to uh, cancer cells developing because of long-term exposure over time. So, I mean, I'm not a scientist, I'm not a doctor, so, you know, don't take my word for it, do your own research. But the way I see it and my opinion is that, uh, you know, they should be safe to use, but as long as you're using them only sometimes during the day, maybe for phone calls here and there. But the thing about AirPods is that since they're pretty comfortable, they don't fall off, sometimes you don't even feel that they're in your ears anymore. You kind of just leave them on there and you use them all day. And I know that's what I used to use. And that's why I'm limiting my use of AirPods from now on because I was using them way too much and that's when it can get out of hand and when it uh, won't be good for you, you know, later on down the road, you know, using them for such long periods of time. So if you're going to use them, you know, periodically uh, during the day here and there just a few times, you know, I don't see it being too bad. But if you can stay away from them, that would be the best option because as we can see from the results of the test, uh, you know, the radiation levels are a little bit higher than that of, let's say, um, the earbuds or just, you know, regular uh, wired headphones. So wired headphones would be the safest way to go, in my opinion. Um, you know, I'm probably gonna continue using AirPods, but I'm just gonna limit my use of them a lot more. Uh, and for the most part, I'm probably gonna be switching on and off between the wired headphones and the AirPods. So that is it for this video. If you got something valuable from it, go ahead and please give it a like if you did. And that's it for now. I'll see everyone in the next video. And as always, peace. Ciao.